ourselves as building uh, the missing internet's identity layer. And that's a mobile identity layer. So we use mobile numbers as digital identity credentials. And that provides a streamless, streamlined user experience, frictionless user experience, and allows businesses to prevent fraud and cut costs. And we're working with some of the world's leading brands to migrate them, transition them to this mobile identity solution. If, if you think about the way the world works at the moment, most of the challenges are that users are part of the security paradigm. So everything is put onto us as an individual, but actually there's a better way. So if you think about your mobile phone, I switch mine off at night, I turn it on in the morning. When I unlock the handset with a pin, I can use the phone, but I never have to log on to the network. So that's how security should work. It's, it's invisible to the user, it's frictionless for the user, but it works. And that's what we're introducing for businesses right now. Most of the early adopters businesses are financial services companies, so typically banks. Um, and they're often using this because they have fraud problems. And so they're able to use phone number verification, mobile identity solution to eliminate phishing and ATO fraud. Because when you're using this solution, there are no shareable credentials. There's no pin code, there's no password. And so there's nothing for a fraudster to steal. So by implementing these new solutions, it allows banks to cut out fraud, but it also helps streamline the user experience, and interestingly, it helps boost revenue. So some of those banks we're working with, they've seen instances where users had problems with fraud, they got fished, and then, then posted on social media that they'd had this attack, and that cut the number of signups to the bank by 30%. So by removing that problem, by solving that fraud, not only does it cut their cost to make the user's journey happier, cut the fraud out, it also impacts their revenue in a positive way. So we were just on a panel earlier talking about how do you move from current authentication methods to something that's passwordless. And um, one of the big challenges is that users don't really want more things to learn. So what's beautiful about what we're doing and what we're using uh, the mobile carrier capabilities to, to deliver mobile identity is that it's not something a user has to do. So it's already deployed to 5 billion users. All of us have a mobile phone with a phone number and a SIM card in it, and that's a security model that just, it works. So if you're able to roll that out, then you solve one half of the problem. There's nothing for the user to do, it's just the business that needs to adopt this new technology. And I think one of the other benefits of it is because it's a possession factor security mechanism, it's resistant to AI. So AI-based fraud and deep fakes or uh, phishing attacks get solved by rolling this out. And it's just something that the businesses need to adopt so that the users can benefit as well.